Hello there, Francis Greer here and today I'd like to show you all another model tip. This is how to get a grainy gravel effect on say a moon's base or a planetoid base or a desert base, anything like that. Basically you want to build your base up as it comes as a model kit or if you've uh, scratch built one yourself. You want to paint it from a multitude from dark grey then dryer brushing all the highlights up to a medium up to then light grey. Uh, leave it to dry. You can also uh, water down some black and get in amongst all the little nooks and crannies and then wipe off the excess with a paper towel and then that'll give you a, 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 like an age weathered effect. But to get the grainy effect what you want to do is you want to get yourself some matte varnish now it's really important that you get matte varnish, not gloss, because gloss is shiny, will dry shiny, and there's not many, if at all, shiny planets out there. So what you want to do is then get yourself some, some chalk pastels, and then in this case, because we're doing a moon base, we need white. So you want to get yourself the white chalk and something sharp like a scalpel or a knife and then once you've covered the top part of the base because you don't want to do the main rim of the base because you don't want this to stick to that so you just do the top part of the base and then scrape off all the excess and then leave to dry and then once the varnish dries it'll hold on and stick to all the bits of chalk and then you'll have your chalk effect. Uh, I'll show you how to do this in the next step. Okay so the next first step is to cover the top part of the base in a clear varnish, in a matte varnish. You want to get in amongst all the nooks and crannies. Don't be shy with, uh, with the varnish. Really give it a good coat because this will help protect the paintwork that you've just painted as well. I decide to not do inside the crater because I've painted that going down into black like it's a deep hole so you don't want the chalk to stick to the inside of that because that will ruin the effect. There we go so there's a nice good covering. Okay, the next step is then get your white chalk and your scalpel you don't want to go too rough because you don't want to break off big chunks because then you're going to have to fish around your model base to get these chunks out and you'll just get all over your fingers and it'll be a nightmare. There we go, now to do. And the next step is just leave it to dry and then you shake off the excess and then you should have a nice gravel effect on your moon base. I'll show you that next step next. Okay so the next part is to blow off the excess.
and there you go one model base with gravel effect hope you all enjoyed this tip uh, please like subscribe and all that jazz and see you next time thank you very much bye bye